we have to evaluate the given sum. We have here to find the sum of 100 from n equals 0 to n equals 3. The letter n is called the index of summation. The numbers 0 and 3 are called the limits of summation. 0 is the lower limit and 3 is the, the upper limit. So we have to find the sum of 100 from n equals 0 to 3. From n equals 0 to 3, it means we have to substitute n by 0, 1, 2, and 3 for this 4, n. So this is equal, this is the sum of 100. We don't have here any n, so we just copy n. This is 4n equals 0. Next, this is the sum, so we have plus, again, 100, and the second sum is 4n equals 1 plus 100 again. This is 4n equals 2 and plus 100 this is for n equals 3 we have n from 0 to 3 so we have to have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms we have to add 4 terms so we have 4 times 100 so this is equal like I said, 4 times 100, this is equal 400. So the sum of 100 from 0 to 3 is equal 400. Or, if you don't see why we have this 4 terms to add, we can rewrite the sum from n equals 0 to 3 100, we can rewrite that this is 100 plus 0 times n because we don't have here any n, so it's like 0 times n. 0 times n is 0. So I didn't change our term, but now maybe it will be easier for you to understand why I add 4 times 100. So when we have to evaluate the sum, of this given expression from 0 to n we need to substitute n first by 0 next by 1 2 and 3 0 is the lower limit and 3 is the upper limit so for n equals 0 what will be 100 plus 0 times 0 this is for n equals 0 plus next term will be 100 plus 0 times 1 plus this is for n equals 1 plus 100 plus 0 times 2 now and this was for n equals 2 and plus of course we have 100 plus 0 times 3 the upper limit is 3 so this is equal what we have in front of parenthesis 100 plus 0 is 100 plus 100 plus 0 times 1 is 100 100 times 0 times 2 is 100 and the last expression is 100 plus 0 times 3 is 100. So this is equal 400. This is my solution.